And let's talk about that for just a second, because you mentioned fight or flight, you also mentioned regulating. Yeah. And so these kids come in with a lot of trauma, yeah. which was not their doing. Mm -hmm. So none of us blame these kids. No, we don't not. see them as evil no. children mm -hmm. or you know, just bad kids or anything like that. They, they've been traumatized. They have been terrorized. Yes. It has been crazy for them. Mm -hmm. Whatever they went through, whether it was an orphanage, whether it was um, foster care, whether it was abuse, neglect, right. all these different things. Yeah. So their brains, like mm -hmm. you said, have been wired around fight or flight, which is PTSD. Yes. And we see this in veterans mm -hmm. and we understand that. It's hard to kind of understand this in children and it plays out a little bit different in kids. Mm -hmm. So they have fight or flight going all the time and what parents of kids with reactive attachment disorder know is that typically mom is the one who triggers mostly the fight or flight. We're the traumatizing agent yes. in their life. Mm -hmm. yep. yes. So what's that look like? Mm -hmm. Rejection. <laughs> yeah. Absolute yeah. rejection from the moment that it starts, right? It's heartbreaking. Yeah, I mean, we adopted internationally. Mm -hmm. um, Us too. And our daughter, right. And our daughter came at the age of eight. Mm -hmm. So we actually uh, virtually twinned um, our youngest biological daughter and the daughter that we adopted. So same age. Same age, yeah. three months different. So um, the, the rejection specifically towards me um, I think for me and then our youngest biological daughter, the, the behaviors were the most intense. Right. So, um, it was, I don't care about you. I don't care if we ever have a relationship. I hate you and I don't care. From day one? No. For, we had about two weeks where we joked the little Mary Poppins line, practically perfect in every way. <laughs> yes, that was our little buzzword. And then the two weeks ended and it was, uh, put your seatbelt on and hang on for dear life. What the heck just happened? So by six months, for the first time in my entire life, I was in therapy, yeah. sitting in a therapist's office. And I said to her, I can do hard, but I cannot do hopeless and you're gonna have to show me where there's some hope because waking up in the morning was one of the hardest things to make myself get out of bed yeah. and start the day again. Yeah. I was having panic attacks and... So now you're having fight yes. or flight. Yes. 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 Which is very, very common for parents of yes. RAD. So here, here we are, people who are somewhat normal you know, <laughs> relatively, <laughs> relatively yes, speaking, yes, whatever that yes. looks like, they're functioning. Yeah, yeah right. she's we're making functioning. it. Yeah, we're making it through life. You know, we can handle hard, yeah. and all of a sudden, every one of us is in seeing counselors, psychiatrists, yes. trying to find out what's going on in my brain yeah. because I'm now having fight or flight. I'm now having anxiety, panic attacks, yeah. a, um, depression, sleeplessness, mm -hmm. all kinds of crazy. And we're like, what happened? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And welcome to the world of parenting kids yes, with reactive attach attachment disorder.